sticking along the theme of using OBS like in the previous video that I did, if you were get, wanting to get into streaming and you wanted a really nice overlay, something to look professional with alerts and animations and things like that, stay tuned because there is a simple solution out there and I'm going to go over it with you guys. So here we are and uh, let's go ahead and get on over to the Strexum.tv website where we could get our basic overlay setup handled. So Strexum, that's S-T-R-E-X-M dot TV. We're going to go ahead and pull up that website. You'll see that here's the home page and uh, it's got all the information here that you want to look at. A lot of features and things but you want to connect your twitch account so let's go ahead and connect your twitch so if you're already logged into your twitch then you go and it will pop up for you to log in uh, to authorize but if you're not then this is where you log in so once you're logged in and ready to go everything's connected and all that as you can see here I've already created a couple of overlays but uh, depending on the game that you're playing, it's the overlays are also going to vary. Anyway, so let's go ahead and new, new overlay. If you're just signing in, it will ask you to create one, and then you want to edit it after that. So let's go to the screen that you would see. Okay, so uh, you're going to want to be looking through the free ones, at least for this tutorial, because I haven't purchased any. So if you see any that you like at first glance, go ahead and click them. And uh, once you click them, you'll see a preview of how it would look on your stream for example so looking at it here you can see here that this is how a follow would look this is how a donation would look this is where you want to put your camera you can even get your viewer numbers uptime here the name of your stream here top donations recent donations recent followers and down here where it says Strexum this is actually where you can type in and put the name of your stream or your gaming handle so if this is one that we like. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So that's the Christmas one. And what do you know? Christmas in July. Free. So once you click free or once it's ready to go, you can see here where it says edit your new overlay. We're going to go ahead and click that. And here we are in the overlay editor screen. So as you make changes, you might want to click the update button just so it sticks but as you can see here you can just click on where you want to edit and go ahead and edit so down here I'm gonna go, go ahead and put coalition gaming and that is now down there top donation uh, all this stuff is here and you can actually depending on the size of your webcam the format that it displays and you can switch it over from 4 by 3 to 16 by 9 as you can see the box change and stretch out there. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on 4 by 3 If you don't like where that's at either, you can also just turn it off with this checkbox. See? Completely turned off. But it also seems to take the top donation, recent donation, recent followers with it. That won't be the case for all the overlays, but it is in this one. So we're going to go ahead and leave it on. You can have, what is this, train? See, now I haven't seen that one. That's new, but it's a, it's a Twitch thing. Oh yeah, that's it's up here. It's the little boxes up here blah 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 turn it off and on as you see fit your bottom bar you can also turn off and on let's say if it blocks certain things that you wanted to see well just turn it off there you go see that now this this one already has the cutouts for CSGO so you can just leave it on if you're playing CSGO or if it's blocking off other stuff or the cutouts don't line up with, w with the game that you're playing then just go ahead and turn it off or pick a different overlay that would fit Twitch chat is set to off by default. Now, clicking it on, you see it will appear over here. And here are the settings for it. You can pick your theme. And there's a few different themes here. You can kind of get a preview of how it looks there. That's Sonos theme, light theme, dark theme. I like this uh, better TTV dark. That's my favorite one. It makes it a lot easier to read. You can't really configure much beyond it. However, if you were to pay 500 coins, I'm not sure what the equivalent of that is, but if you were to pay 500 coins through Strexum, then you have the ability to move all of these objects, as well as adding custom sounds for your notifications. Speaking of notifications, let's get down here. Just scroll down a little bit, and you'll see you have follower alerts, donation alerts, host alerts, sub alerts, 
but for a streamer just getting started you're going to have follow alerts and host alerts as your primary and I'll show you guys the donation alerts as well if you have a PayPal set up for that so here's the preview follow alert button so clicking that that's how it'll look when it happens you can test it as well and testing it you know that'll click it on and the uh, on the overlay if you already had an OBS but here just click preview follower to see how it looks you can even change the animation of the name of the follower when it happens I'm going to update it and then preview and well the bounce should it'll make this part bounce right here it's not showing it but you'll see it on OBS anyway so you can just pick whatever you like from here or just leave it as is how you see it if you like it you can even change uh, you know, so and so just followed, or you can change the text and all this. It's pretty customizable in here, and so uh, you can even change the follower sound volume right here, where it says 100. You can just change it in 30. Now let's max that out because you want to hear when a follower hit, hits that button. So you have no sounds in it right now, but here are the stock sounds. And like I said, 200 coins above lets you put custom sounds, but here you get stock sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and pick winning sound ow that was really loud for me I hope that's not that, that loud for you guys so that's picked out I'm actually gonna turn it down just for the sake of this video so now if you wanna preview it there it goes yeah but uh... I gotta update it first now let's try it test oh you know what in order to select it you actually have to click it and see you'll see a mark on it there, that's the mark you're looking for. Now I update. And then now I click preview follow alert. There you go. Now I didn't hear the sound, but like I said, it'll probably play in the overlay for sure. Okay, and you can also tune the duration and the delay of that alert. So it's the same thing over here in host alerts. Pick the sound, pick your animations. You can uh, customize the text, the durations, all right here. Now, donation alerts at first will not be enabled. You actually have to go back up, go do tips. And when you have tips, when you click the tips right here, settings, you have to go to settings, pick which one you want to go through. But you click the settings and you can actually put in the email address the uh, of your PayPal account and set up the minimums and all that stuff right there. Once you have that set up, you go over here, donation alerts, and uh, then it will be enabled and you can customize it just like everything else. So we're going to put amazing bonus for that. And then we're going to go over here to host alerts, just leave that as is customize as you guys would like and we'll scroll down and make that demonic laugh so if somebody hosts you you'll hear <laughs> you'll know for sure when somebody hosts you if you pick that one <laughs> so okay this the overlay is basically ready to go I've already customized the naming and things so if you go over here you'll see unique overlay link and this is the link that you're going to want to copy then you go down to OBS so here's OBS now I don't have a webcam connected to this computer that I'm recording from but you could also set up your webcam that way but let's start with the overlay so you click the plus sign here you go to browser source and in browser source name it I'm going to call it overlay strexum and then right here where it says URL go ahead and get rid of that one and drop in the one that for the overlay that you have so you also want to size it so if you have a 1920 by 1080 canvas then 1920 by 1080 and then make it easier than having to manually stretch it out and there it is so there's the overlay you got the chat over there the window here you have the boxes and the uh, the bottom bar and everything so if I were to add a webcam I would just do uh, now, I don't think it'll let me because I don't have them plugged in, but let's see, video capture device, webcam, enter, you know, it's not going to have anything here, but let's see if it gets me a box. No, no box. So, if you have a webcam, you just drop it into this box, and if you don't have one,
then you can go ahead and click that off over in the Strexum settings right up here. You can just click it off if you just want to stream your game and talk over it. But if you do, if you do want your face cam in there, click that box, add it as a source in OBS, and size it to fit in there, and you'll be all set. So that does it. Strexum is a really cool website, really cool utility to get your stream to look more professional without spending a ton of time setting everything up or having to buy overlays or anything like that. Now, there do exist other websites like uh, definitely want to check out nerdordie.com if you want to get into more advanced setups, but that literally takes a lot longer and you're a lot more to troubleshoot if you have issues or anything like that. If you just wanted something to look nice, work well, and just kind of go through it and an all-in-one solution just to get you going and, you know, it'll get you going for a while too. Strexum is really good utility to use. So um, anyways, that does it for me. This is Chris of Coalition Gaming. If you guys like this video, click that thumbs up button. That. If you guys like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more. There's always more coming. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, everybody. Right.